for calculations, so the calculations on the three uh, definitions of uh, voltage, current, and well, just voltage and current, we're not doing resistance until later. Okay, so charge of four microcoulombs. So the charge Q is four by 10 to the minus three. Close for one minute, so the time is one minute, so we can just put in straight away 60 seconds. Okay, right, it's for the current flowing, so current is charge divided by time. Be aware that that's not in the tables, so we need to know it. Okay, so charge is four by 10 to the minus three divided by the time, which is 60. So we get a current of 6.67 by 10 to the minus five amps. Okay, now the second part is interesting. The number of electrons passing a point in one second. Let's take a simpler example. Let's say the charge was 200. And let's say the charge in each electron, okay, was 40. It'd be pretty obvious that you'd get the total charge is 200. Each electron is 40, so you divide the total charge by the charge in the electron, and you get an answer of five. That logic, follows through to here except the numbers are different okay so the number of electrons passing a point in one second so the total charge so the number of electrons will be the total charge divided by the charge on an electron okay so in this case 6.67 by 10 to the minus 5 divided by 1.6 by 10 to the minus 19, because we know we're, we're so used to the charge in the electron at this stage. Okay, and we get an answer of 4.17 by 10 to the 14 electrons, a lot of electrons. Okay, and we'll rewind on that if you're not sure. Okay, but it should make sense, and this, this should help where this comes from. Second one, calculate the work done moving an electron across a potential direction of one volt. Now this is the def definition of the electron volt. So it's an electron, so again we're interested in the charge clearly. So that's 1.6 by 10 to the minus 19, and the voltage is one. So the definition, voltage, is work done per unit charge. Okay, so in this case the voltage is one, the work done is uh, what we're looking for, and 1.6 by 10 to the minus 19. So the work done, and I'm going to do it in kind of full here, it's 1 by 1.6 by 10 to the minus 19. It's the voltage of 1 volt multiplied by the charge in the electron. So the answer is just 1.6 by 10 to the minus 19. And be careful here, it is joules. Okay, so it's joules, the charge. Okay, so the work done in bringing an electron across a voltage of 1 volt is called an electron volt and it is 1.6 by 10 to the minus 19 joules, and in the atom, we've been using that as a conversion from electron volts to volts. Similar question, work done moving a proton. Now remember, we're getting used to this. Proton is the same charge as an electron, just as an opposite direction. Okay, and potential difference again, in this case, 600 by 10 to the power of 3, 600,000. So, same, same question, basically, except we have, it's not a voltage of 1, Right. And we get an answer of 9.6 by 10 to the minus 14. Okay, joules. Or as it happens, okay, one volt would have been one electron volt, so it would be R, as it turns out, 600,000 electron volts. Okay, there you go.